Welcome back, everyone. Once again, expecting some shower activity, even some thunderstorms expected this afternoon with another round of showers. The biggest threat, once again, is flooding, as we already saw yesterday in Brownsville. But wind, hail, and lightning could all be part of some storms expected to develop later on today. Right now, though, in the valley, things are looking calm, but over the Gulf waters, we're seeing a lot of heavy shower activity, fortunately moving away from the valley towards the northeast, but we could see some more showers spark up later on today. Now, overnight, we did see more shower activity in Star County, but it was yesterday in Brownsville that we saw the bulk of the rain, five to six inches for some folks across the city. Future cast showing, once again, a chance for shower activity across the valley especially in the lower valley Wednesday, keeping the showers in the forecast for the South Texas region. So and that's going to continue the same weather pattern each and every day for this next week. So expect to keep that umbrella handy. We got about a 50% chance each day through the work week. Looks like we'll see that chance taper off by the weekend. But nonetheless, expect to see some rain somewhere in the valley for the next few days. Right now, visibilities are looking pretty good for your morning commute, slightly reduced in Wessico at seven miles an hour. It is a bit muggy out there, though. 93% relative humidity in Brownsville. A lot of moisture there out there, especially in the lower valley with all the flooding. 81% in McGallan, as well as in Rio Grande City. Temperature-wise, 76 in Rio Grande City, 74 in Wessico and Harlingen, as well as Los Fresnos, 77 in Port Isabel. This afternoon, we'll see those temperatures rise back into the 90s as we did yesterday, but with a little bit of cloud cover, some areas of the valley may see temperatures much cooler. But the possibility is up into the 90s once again, where there's plenty of sunshine in the mid-90s for your afternoon highs. For the rest of this next week, expect that again to continue with a 50% chance for showers for the next few days, but highs only reaching the low to 